Hello, my name is Reese, and today we're going to be talking about the expansive power of carbon dioxide. So, I have about 60 milliliters of vinegar inside my Erlenmeyer flask and about a teaspoon of baking soda inside my balloon. I want to stretch my balloon over top of the Erlenmeyer flask, so I've just dumped the baking soda into the vinegar, which is creating a reaction which produces carbon dioxide gas. Now there's already air inside of the Erlenmeyer flask, so the carbon dioxide we're producing, it has to go somewhere. It begins to expand and fill up the stretchy balloon. Now, we're gonna go outside to show the real expansive power of carbon dioxide gas. Thanks, Reese. I can take it from here. We're gonna be looking at another demonstration about carbon dioxide expanding on a little bit of a bigger scale this time. Before I do this, I would just like to make sure that you all know that this is not a demonstration that is safe to try at home. This is the kind of demonstration that should only ever be done by a trained adult such as myself. I've got my safety equipment ready to go. I've got my goggles. And I'm gonna be putting on this glove as well to protect my hand because the material I'm going to be holding is very cold. So what we have here is something called dry ice. So dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. It's a very, very cold material. It's almost minus 80 degrees Celsius. So it's very, very cold. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the dry ice nuggets into this bottle here. Now you guys might notice that this dry ice is not melting into a liquid like regular ice would be. It's actually turning directly into a gas. This is something that's called sublimation, when something turns directly from a solid into a gas. Now the thing is, a solid is going to take up a lot less space than a gas does. So as my dry ice is turning into a gas, it's turning into carbon dioxide gas, it's spreading out quite a lot. And I'm actually going to accelerate that process by adding some warm water in on top of it, which should make the gas form very quickly. This is going to cause a high buildup of pressure inside my bottle. So when I put my lid on, which I'm about to do now, there's going to be a lot of pressure inside this bottle, so I better get it out of my way. I'm gonna put it safely in this barrel of water. And I'm gonna get the heck out of the way. gentlemen is what happens when carbon dioxide puts too much pressure on a plastic bottle. To see these and other demonstrations please check out our Science World Resources website. <laughs>